Besides changing your chat widget's look, you can also customize its behavior. To do so, go to Config Widgets, select your widget, and click on the Chat Behavior tab. You'll find different options on how your chat widget should react. Change the approach, enable the group select mode, decide on your data privacy settings, and more. In this video, we'll cover the different chat modes. For other features, check out our chat behavior video. In the approach section, you can configure how a chat between your web visitors and your operators is started. Which mode works the best depends on your use case, website, and preferences. Let's look at the options in more detail. The normal chat mode means a web visitor can quickly start a chat. They just click on the chat button on your website, and a connection with your operator will immediately be created. Normally, the operator is notified when a web visitor clicks on the chat button. If you enable the Passive Connect option below, the operator will only be notified when your web visitor sends the first message. We recommend this function when you have a lot of incoming chat sessions and want to filter out the ones in which no message was sent. Like in the normal mode, a chat is only started by your web visitors. What's different is that before the chat starts, the web visitor has to fill in her name and email. You can also add additional fields. This is useful when you want to filter out low-quality chats or gather additional information. For example, when locating the customer in your system is vital for your support process. It's also a powerful feature for lead collection. If you're worried that your customers won't start a chat because they would have to reveal some of their personal information, you can just make it optional. That way, they can skip this step and get to the chat. If you enable Passive Connect here, the chat session will start when your web visitor writes her first message. The proactive mode enables you to reach out to your web visitors with an automatic chat invitation. In this mode, a message automatically pops up after your customer has been on your website for a defined time. You'll be notified when they respond to your automatic greeting. Use this mode if you want to offer proactive support, assist web visitors in need, or make your customers aware of your live chat function. Note that with the proactive approach, Passive Connect is always enabled. If you use Proactive and Registration Mode, you get two in one. It's Registration Mode if your customer clicks on the chat button. A registration form requesting their name and email will appear before the chat. But it's Proactive Mode if your customer doesn't click before the timeout is reached. The chat window will open automatically after your defined timeout. For this Proactive pop-up, there's no registration. This is practical to gather information for those web visitors who clicked on the button and also engage customers quickly without gathering information if they need assistance. With our remote API, you can control the chat behavior by setting your own chat triggers based on web visitor behavior. You can define, for example, to only show the chat if your web visitor has a certain amount in their shopping cart and hide the chat if she doesn't. Or you can trigger a proactive chat when the web visitor has been on your page for more than, let's say, three times. The remote API is useful to set up a custom implementation of your widget. You get access to our remote API from our business plan. So these are our different chat modes. You can also decide what should happen when you're offline and no operators are available. You can choose to hide the chat button or go for a more unique approach by setting your daily service times and hide your chat button outside of these times, let's say, on the weekends or at night. If you don't want to hide your chat button, but let your web visitors know that you're currently offline, you can choose between a few offline modes. By displaying the offline form, you can answer the request later via email. Or use our friendly chatbot. Chatbutler greets your web visitors and collects their questions while notifying your operators to come online. Learn more about how to set up ChatButler in our dedicated video. You can also just show a notification window when you're offline. For example, indicating your service times and when you'll be available again for support. That's it for the chat modes and offline settings. Thanks for watching and happy chatting.